Welcome to Never Not Sailing. I'm Danielle and this is Tyler, or Captain Woodsy. Our sailing journey began from Adelaide with grand dreams to cross the Great Australian Bight and see how far we could get in a year. Turns out the Southern Ocean is a fickle beast and we couldn't achieve what we set out to do. So we're on to plan B, which is to explore West Australia by land before heading to Europe to see what kind of mischief we can manage there. Join us every Sunday as the irony of calling ourselves Never Not Sailing grows, because what happens next, nobody knows. Hello, good morning. We are on our last day before we head back to Broome. We're leaving El Questro on the way to Kananara um, to see where Tyler was born, to go to a rum distillery and to go to the Lake Argyle Caravan Park, which has an infinity pool. Those are our motivations to finish our trip <laughs> this way. Boozing and swimming. Nice. What do you want to say for yourself? It was so hot. We did that time lapse of us packing up this morning and it was so hot. It's 35 degrees at 8.30 in the morning. Um, and 70 odd percent humidity, like horrific. Um, we were so flustered, we forgot to pack the quilt away inside the swag. So before we start writing comments about why did you put your quilt in a dirty outside of the swag, that's why. Delirious, I wouldn't have had a cold shower. Tyler has suffered through, so he's sitting in that dirty shirt. What's your ankle update, mate? Ankle update, sore. Um, worse than yesterday, um, but that's okay. There are no more gorges that we're going to go check out. There are apparently there are a bunch of water holes and things in Kananara that you can go and have a look at. Uh, but for us, and uh, what we want to do, we sort of got what we wanted out of the trip, I think, um, today. So we're just going to have a bit of a, a boozy and a chill kind of day. Um, get to bed early because we've got a big drive tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so we, uh, I was born in Kununurra and uh, at the three month mark, uh, thereabouts, my parents decided to make the move. The way I understand it is they're on the way to um, the mines um, down the Pilbara region. Made it to Broome, didn't go any further. You can see why if you've ever been to Broome. Uh, yeah, but what that means is I've never actually laid conscious conscious eyes on Kununurra. So this will be the first time I've been there beyond three months old, which is pretty cool. Um, but that's our day. Poochery. You said it was poochery. That's my kind of place, so hoochery. One, because hooch means booze. Two, because I'm a hooch. Oh. Zero interest in trying on Nate. No. <laughs> I actually forgot that. Mate and cheese. Mm. Yeah, I like That's that. It's good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. The, um, the owner is from the US. We're up near the Caribbean. Is that what they told us? In the US somewhere there. And had a huge like seed farming background and came to Australia. Apparently went to South Australia and wanted to open a cellar door. Um, but they couldn't grow what he wanted to in that climate. So I came up here. 
it's been running since what 1999 did he say <laughs> i should have gotten your face on camera oh, oh first, yeah first bottles 99. <laughs> That white spirit. That, that white, white sun arm. is making it mm. difficult to see you, but go again. Oh, <laughs> you want me to do no, that? No, 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 I don't want you to like fake it. <laughs> I want you to tell us what's going on. It's just a, a harsh, sweet spirit, but yeah, it's like a sweet, sweet Bacardi. Oh, that's it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh. Did you get in the second time? No. Slauncher. Why are you overreacting? I'm not a spirits drinker. Yeah. <laughs> You're a big girl's blouse. Oh, I'm so tough. Let's drink spirits. Thank you. Days without water. Along the sun so grown We cross over borders to get where we are and it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you I did it all for you it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you Nights without sleeping, cause you fear the night And days without eating, cause it ain't enough for two and it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you I did it all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you station so they use water and basically and drop it from a great height over a turbine and turn that turbine and once they turn that turbine that turbine turns into power it's pretty good that's lyrical that is that's some fucking lyrical shit um, everyone loves a bit of alliteration a lyricist um, but yeah um, so some pretty cool stuff going on out here um, whether or not that that's good for the environment, that is for other people to have that debate and ask those questions. Um, I imagine it, it messes with a whole lot of ecosystem setting up something like that. It's all for you, I did it all for you. It's all for you, it's all for you.
Well, I'm just sitting wishing you were with me. So cheeky. Me. That's exactly something I would do. Oh, two and down in with two tips instead of one. So as he held the knife to the one on the right, took a breath to cut it off. He met a girl who would change his world and make him proud of what he's got. Multi muff Melissa kissed the knife out of When she kissed him, Derek felt a stirring in his hand. Now I challenge you to find a more romantic scenario. <laughs> this is exactly your humor. <laughs> <laughs> look at you in this golden light you look gorgeous even with these stains on your top shush we've Where's just we've just come from That's listening to the live music show 4K to 1080p you shush get the stains out <laughs> best best cleaning product i've ever used the downgrade from 4k to 1080p oh my gosh we it's Such our last night camping content. And we're in a beautiful spot. There's all these mountains around, like I was just over there. Love seeing our little trendy little camping town. I'm gonna cook in a little bit, but we're gonna go and get a little bev fest, aren't we? Of course we are. And you have to wear these schnazzy little armbands. Prove you're allowed to be here. But have you had a good time? It's been a pretty good couple of weeks, months, yep. whatever it's been. It's been it's good fun. Monday today, we're going to back to Broome tomorrow. It's going to be a 12 hour drive. Mm. Just wait for the bants in the car. Yeah. And then we're going to be um, at the end of our Australian leg yep. and the end of our tether. No. Yeah. At the end of this video, mm. you will see we'll, on, a, on a plane and we'll over overseas for the rest of the year. Yeah. 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 But it's been pretty special. Yeah. This trip so far. It has. Mm. Aww. Love that. Alright. So I am doing a absorption pasta dish. We did it for the first time the other night and it was that's what I'm gonna go Um and it was delicious, really surprising. So started not unlike my easy pasta. You know, so I fried off a bunch of um, diced onions in olive oil and Add the garlic later, always. Never add your garlic and your onions at the same time. Um, and then use two cans of the mutti tomatoes. Um, some chilli, pepper, salt. Um, and I added fresh lemon. I just had some inspiration. So added fresh lemon peel. So grated that up. Pretty and sure they know what a lemon is. No, not the actual lemon juice. Right. Like the outside. Yeah, smart ass. Um, and then chicken stock. So it has no water whatsoever. So the onion, garlic, tomato, chicken stock, and then you put the pasta in it and it just absorbs it and cooks, the stock cooks the um, thing magic. What's your favorite thing in, in food? What do you mean? What's your favorite thing about food? Eating it? Nah, flavor. Flavor. And this doesn't water it down. No, 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 no. I, like, it's really light and fresh. The lemon goes a long way that was just like, like surprising. If I had more resources, I'd put some um, basil in while I was cooking and then some parsley, some like flat leaf parsley in to finish it. But one pot wonder, and there's barely any cooking up. Cooking up, cleaning up. So the pasta is in here. See how it's dry? I'm just separating it so it doesn't cook together. So you just cook this like you'd cook it in um, water, maybe a little bit longer. And it will just absorb right in there. I'm going to start the process of grating our cheese with our tiny, tiny little grater. Adorable. That is AM. Hello, good morning. Too tired for words. Do you know what? I'm not, because we're going to bed at 9 o'clock in the camping world. Um, this is our last leg. It's about 1100 kilometers to Broome. So it's going to be a long day. Tyler's ankle is feeling all right. So he's taking the first leg. We're going to stop in Kununurra to get some coffees because we packed up quick bloody smart this morning. 
no one wants to be those loud assholes in the campsite waking everyone else up. Even though there's people pottering about already. Nutters. Uh, sun, like, sun gets up pretty early in uh, Kununara Lake Argyle though. It's, yeah. It's 5.30 and the sun is, is like beyond the breaking sunrise. Yeah. We had our little headlamps on for 10 minutes and yeah. we were like, well this is unnecessary. I want to drive out. Excellent. 
and that there is a summation and the breakdown of the Gibb River Road. Succinct, I'm impressed. Don't even need to cut it, just put that straight in the bit. Now we're rambling. Never ramble. Ramble on. <laughs> CCR? CCR. Yeah. There you go. We have just gotten into Fitzroy Crossing. We're about 600k in thereabouts. We've got 400k to go. Oh God, so what, 800k in? Yeah, some kind of math. We've got 400k to go to get to Broome. We're having our lunch stop. Um, pull out our, you know, little containers of spaghetti. And then this bloke pulls out the tiny cheese grater. Must have a freshly shaved parmesan at all times. At the staircase to the moon markets. Hopefully we get to see the staircase to the moon. A bit of a change with Indonesian curry. Update, no staircase. It's 21 minutes past. We'll do a staircase check. Still no staircase. Staircase to the moon, update. Have we got one yet? No staircase on, oh, no, hang on. Found it. It's good quality stuff. I've had enough of you. Now, Daniel may have had enough of me, but hopefully you guys have not. So that was us at the Staircase to the Moon in Broome, which you'll see a little bit of an explanation in the next episode. We also cleaned down this sexy beast that had got us all the way around Australia. And we spend a little bit of time in Broome before we pack our bags and get ready for the third part of this ever-changing trip that is never not sailing. Now, if you've liked this episode, please hit that like, like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, let us know what, what you're all about. And remember, we'll see you again next week on Never Not Sailing. Doot.